just having a bit of lunch and um, got to share this clip with you. Jenny Goose is somebody, in my opinion, on the Dem side, is just underrated. Uh, you may recall he was uh, very prominent during the uh, impeachment of former guy. Uh, today he was in the House and i share this moment with you. Again, this thank guy the is uh, and want to underrated. Thank the Chair uh, and a ranking member for their testimony from being here uh, today. I want to follow up on a point that my colleague referenced about, uh, in particular, H.R. 6914, uh, the, the Pregnant Students' Rights Act, and this notion that, that it's designed to simply provide more information. And so just to drill down a bit on this, Madam Chair, on page five of the bill, uh, in section two, it's titled Information Content, and I'll just read this. It's the information described in this paragraph is the following. Subparagraph A, a list of resources on campus and in the community that exist to help a pregnant student in carrying the baby to term and caring for the baby after birth. Do you see that language there? It's a, subparagraph it's a, a. Page five, subparagraph A. Yeah, subparagraph A. Uh-huh. It starts with a list of resources. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So well, a list of resources on campus and in the community that exist to help a pregnant student in carrying the baby to term and caring for the baby after birth. What are those resources that this bill is contemplating? Well, it would depend on the community. It would it'd depend on what the community has to offer. Uh, for there are no universal the, resources, irrespective of what community you're in. I mean, I, I take this language to be that the, the federal you're acquiring these institutions of higher education to promulgate resources, and you're saying that every school's booklet is going to be different? No, we're saying that... Uh, the, what exists, we are not require them. We're not requiring them to create any additional resources. We're just asking them to to provide a list of the resources on campus and in the community. There's no requirement to create any resources. So, what would those resources be? Well, um, on there might might be on child campus. Uh, Facility, um, child care facilities. There might be, uh, there'll be probably uh, in the community um, child care facilities. There might be um, uh, information on um, food pantries, for example, mm -hmm. if, the, if a student needed that kind of help. Uh, there might be information on um, pediatricians who are in the area. I let mean, me let me follow up on anybody the food can pantry. think if you have a baby there what kind of resources do you need sure well so I, with respect to the food pantry it's a good example i went online the american pregnancy association has a list of financial resources that are available to pregnant mothers to, to better inform them about the resources that might be available the first item on their list is WIC, women infants and children supplemental Fund program, right? You're familiar with WIC? Yes. Of course. Right? The Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children. It's the number one resource on this uh, website that I, you know, uh, went on. And my understanding is that House Republicans, 190 of them in this Congress, voted to rescind $500 million in WIC funding. You recall that vote back in September? Um. Not in particular uh, the numbers or anything about the vote. Well, I can represent to you that in September of last year, 190 House Republicans voted to rescind $500 million in WIC funding, um, and that included uh, you as well. The next item on the list here is pregnancy Medicaid is listed as one of the financial resources. Uh, of course, Many House Republicans, most House Republicans, oppose the expansion of Medicaid. And I take it you do as well. Is that a fair assessment? Uh, I, that's a fair assessment, but I have no idea what that has to do with this bill. Well, what I'm, This is a very simple bill to, to help students. It's a very pro-student here's, here's what I'll suggest to you, Madam Chair. This is why it matters. The American Pregnancy Association lists as financial resources, one of those resources available to pregnant women is pregnancy Medicaid so that they can access health care for them and for their child. 
House Republicans, including yourself, oppose expanding Medicaid for pregnant mothers in, in a variety of different states across the country. That's why it's relevant. And, and as you can see, where, where I'm struggling is understanding what information you are compelling these institutions of higher education to actually provide to the extent that it's any of these resources, they're all resources that House Republicans seem intent on cutting. Um, and, and those are just a few. I mean, the next one on here is temporary assistance for needy families, TANF. Again, a program that House Republicans have voted to decrease over the course of this Congress. So I, I guess what I'm getting at, and, and, and maybe you can help me understand this, is if the goal here is to provide, as you, the bill says, a list of resources to assist pregnant mothers. And if we know those resources, pregnancy Medicaid, TANF, WIC, a variety of others, are so critically important, why do House Republicans seem so intent on cutting them all? That, that's really my question. Well, again, um, you're, you're creating a straw dog here. This bill, what was that? this bill is pro-student. Surely, members on both sides of the aisle want to support women becoming mothers and college graduates. There are resources now. Whether or not we oppose some of those resources being funded by taxpayers at the federal level is irrelevant to this discussion. They exist. Since they exist, so the plan then is the students should know about them and take advantage of them. So the it's simple as that. You Again, you guys are throwing out straw dogs constantly uh, about Madam, this bill. Madam Chair, I would simply say it seems to me the plan is to mandate the provision of a list of resources, of programs that Republicans are trying to dismantle in Washington. I don't really understand the utility in compelling the production of a list that says, hey, supplemental nutrition assistance program resources are available to you, unless Republicans have a majority in the Congress, in which case it's not worth much more than the piece of paper that this bill apparently is compelling the production of. But again, I'm not, I, I guess what I would say, Madam Chair, and it's with all respect, I, I would be far more interested, I think, in debating and moving forward a bill that funds these resources, that funds these critical programs, TANF, WIC, SNAP, expanding Medicaid, uh, to ensure that pregnant mothers have those resources, as opposed to passing a bill that mandates the creation of a list that lists them out. Ranking Member Scott, I know well, I, I want well, to give you may, an opportunity. May, I'd like to respond sure, to that. Of course. We are the Education Committee. We're dealing with students. We're not the Appropriations Committee. That's Mr. Cole and other folks. Uh, so, so perhaps, um, since Mr. Cole's here, he can hear you say what you want funded. What should be funded is not in our purview, but these things already exist, and so we just want to make sure that students are aware of them, and can, we want the students to be taken care of. We want their babies to be taken care of. We want them to complete their college education, and so whatever exists, they should have access to it, and if they don't already know about it, we want the school to tell them. Very simple bill, very pro-student, not anti-anything. We're not here to speak against WIC or any of those things. That's a different subject. Thank you. I, I hear you, Madam Chair, and I hope the appropriators hear us as well. I'm not on the Appropriations Committee, but I, I, the only uh, caveat I suppose I would add is that you, you keep on referencing these programs existing. They exist for now. House Republicans have worked very hard to cut them to the bone over the last 14 months. So, uh, you know, I, the fact that you'd like to provide a, God, a list of resources around WIC or SNAP or TANF uh, to pregnant mothers while the House Republican majority seeks to defund all of these programs just seems a bit um, disconnected, in my view, from the, the views and the values uh, and the wishes of the American people. But Ranking Member Scott, I want to give you an opportunity to... Thank you, and I think your comments highlight a real shortcoming of the legislation that gives partial information to begin with. It doesn't give any information on contraception, uh, resources if you experience a miscarriage, if you're going to choose to terminate the pregnancy for any, for any reason. 
just gives you partial information, and then in terms of resources, it doesn't give you anything. Um, so that's, um, if you are trying to make an informed decision, you can't make an informed decision if you're only hearing one side. Uh, I would also say to the gentlelady from Pennsylvania, when you talked about the allegations, we did ask for a documentation for the um, uh, findings, mm -hmm. and the uh, sponsor of many of the, one of the major parts of that finding was unable to provide documentation. I thank the ranking member, I thank the chair, uh, and uh, I yield the balance of my time. Thank you, gentlelady from New Mexico.